news today's news. CBS News on the hour, sponsored by Progressive Insurance. I'm Monica Rick. A winning day on Wall Street today with two major indexes closing at record highs. CBS's Jason Brooks has the numbers. Wall Street got a boost from some tech stocks that have been on a recent roll, including Apple and Tesla. That helped the Nasdaq and S&P 500 reach record highs today. The Dow gained 189 points to 38,778. The Nasdaq was up 168 points to 17,857. And the S&P gained 41 points to 54.73. Shoppers are in the air and hundreds of firefighters are on the ground attacking the post fire as it spreads near Los Angeles. CBS LA reporter Lori Perez is in Gorman. Massive billowing smoke tinged with orange. There are some very big flames. A huge area, mostly in the mountains, but also close to campgrounds and some farms, some small communities. The fires burn close to 16,000 acres so far. Meantime, a dangerous heat wave is bearing down on the Midwest and Northeast. Our Tara Molina's in Chicago. Health experts are saying stay inside if you can and really pay attention and listen to your body. You start feeling tired, fatigued, dizzy. That's a sign to get out of the heat, take time to cool down. And it's not just in the U.S. A 55-year-old American died in Greece, the third tourist death in a week due to extreme heat. Dangerous to walk in the sun, but we are young, so we keep ourselves safe with water and sunscreen. Investigators still don't know why a man started shooting people, including children, at a splash pad this weekend near Detroit. Here's CBS's Jim Kasula. He fired at least 36 shots at a splash pad. Nine people were wounded, two critically. Oakland County, Michigan Sheriff Mike Bouchard. We don't have a lot to tell you about motive. So far, we've not been able to uncover any written and paper manifesto types of things. The 42-year-old suspected gunman shot and killed himself in the house he shared with his mother outside Detroit. Melinda French Gates joined CBS Mornings today and weighed in on the presidential election in November. The minister turned out in the midterm election and said, this is enough, and we've got to do it again. And she tells our Gail King, though she's voted both Republican and Democratic in the past. In this election, I cannot vote for a man who rolls back women's reproductive rights and says the heinous things that he says about women. Mm -hmm. So I absolutely am not voting for Trump, and I will vote for Biden. Matt Piper, CBS News. Today, the U.S. Surgeon General called on Congress to put warning labels on social media. He says anything more than two hours on apps can raise the risk of anxiety and depression in young users. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news. Today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I want to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye bye, everybody. It's 80 degrees in San Jose, California.